clients hire and find White Owl and Machete for their projects because we are so unique and different in terms of our design and also our process. We are pushing boundaries and being very innovative and I believe that we definitely have like a signature to our look. We don't like to follow trends. We really like to do timeless designs, but in a way that feels fresh and new. Our process is quick. Once we start a project, we keep that ball rolling to keep us excited and also our clients excited. I think that's really important to keep that excitement and that vision alive throughout the process. My name is Barrett Wydell. I am an interior designer. I'm co-owner of Wydell & Machete based in Morristown, New Jersey. Today we are in my home. It's called Casa Alpaca. It's a French colonial home on the exterior. And on the interior, we gutted the whole house. We did keep a lot of the integrity of the architecture to the home, but we did really want to make it our own. And I had traveled to Europe, to France, and I was really inspired by the Parisian style. So I wanted to bring that into this house, but also make it my own, which is contemporary with that eclectic mix. We have an entire farm here with a lot of animals. So the house originally came with three, and those were alpacas, hence the name Casa Alpaca. And now we have 32 and counting, and we have donkeys and geese and chickens and goats. So it's a real experience when you come to our home. Not only are you experiencing a beautiful house and the interiors and everything that I have personally touched, but also the farm and the land and the property. It's just really magical. Welcome to Casa Alpaca. The feeling I wanted when you entered our home was to be impactful, playful, and classic. I think the star moment here are these guys. These are actually alpaca statues with true alpaca hair. As you can see, I have wallpaper on this back accent wall. This is by Porter Taleo. It's all hand painted. So it's true artisan wallpaper, which I loved. It gives me kind of that Picasso-esque art and I thought it was perfect to be a real statement when you walk in. It has a grand staircase, which is actually original to the home. Up above us, we have a custom brass light fixture by Neptune's Glassworks. I also have some really fun collected pieces over here. These are by True Artisans, and I just love how playful the shapes are. This vase has a face to it. It's all very conversational, and that's what I wanted when you walk in here. It's a taste of what you're gonna get at the rest of the home. So welcome to the atrium. This is my then place. Originally, this was actually a pond in here and it had two turtles. We rehomed those turtles, got rid of the pond, and then just created a space that we could actually like hang out in and use. I worked with a landscape architect who actually designed all of this dried moss that kind of flanks the entire space. There's no maintenance to it, so it's great, and it will just live here forever. This tree here has a real trunk to it, but it's actually faux leaves. So again, no maintenance here, super easy, and we've got that amazing tile by Ann Sachs, one of my favorites. I absolutely love it. It's porcelain. All my little kids are running in and out with their wet feet from our pool. I don't ever have to worry about anything with all the wear and tear. So this whole room was to be carefree, zen, earthy, and low maintenance. This is our formal living room. I wouldn't say that we're super formal in this house, so it still gets used and everybody sits in here. Behind me, you have a dual fireplace, and this is all the terrazzo that's fluted by Ann Sachs. 
I absolutely loved this tile and I felt like it just brought a lot of nature into the home. Walking around, we've got the most comfortable chairs and they are actually made out of alpaca fur, so they're super cozy. And they swivel, so that's like a lot of fun. This is an awesome plaster coffee table that was created by an artist and I absolutely love it and I just love all the different elements and layers to the table. It gives a lot of architectural feeling in the space. This is actually a custom sofa designed by us at Wydell and Bichetti, and it is covered in a performance fabric so my kids can spill anything they want on it and I never have to worry about it. Over to our right, I wanted to add a pop of color and space and unexpectedness. So this is an art piece by Jenna Carpell. She's awesome and I love her work, so I thought that this was really cute and fun there. Here we are in the family room. The most important thing in this family room was to create a very comfortable space for my family and all my friends. So you will see that we have a massive sofa here that everyone's able to curl up on. Above me, I have a hand-carved wood light fixture by Thomas Newman. They've only made, I believe, six of these in the world. So I felt extremely fortunate to have this piece in my home and I feel like it really grounds the space. Behind me is a art piece that was commissioned for me and I have something really special I wanna show you. At the time of moving in this house, we had three dogs, which two of them ended up going to heaven shortly after they were 17 and 18. And the artist incorporated both of my puppies into the art piece. So you can see one up there with the little ears, the two eyes and the nose. And then down below we have another two eyes, nose and ears. So it was really special and it just reminds me of my two buddies that were with us when we were living here. They say the kitchen is the heart of the home, and I definitely have to agree. This is probably the most used space in all of our house, and I just love it. I wanted to create, again, something very timeless in here, so I went with a more Scandinavian design element. Everything is paneled in terms of our appliances that can be, so everything is very clean and classic. This stone that I chose is a leathered, an antiqued leathered Taj Mahal, and so it's extremely durable, and I love just the feeling of it. And I did a five inch miter to give it extra thickness. Behind me, we've got a custom hood that is in a brass patina, and this is really kind of like the star moment of the kitchen. It's like the first thing that you see, and it really grounds the space. I just love it so much. I have some tips and tricks for when designing your kitchen and it's all about functionality. The first is utilizing that unused space. So over here, I have a complete area that could not have a full cabinet. So instead, we created an appliance garage to house some of those unwanted pieces that you don't wanna have showing around and you can just hide and utilize in this awesome space here. Also, panel all your appliances. These are all panel-ready appliances. This is hidden, so you don't know that it is actually my refrigerator. And then another cool tip and trick, hide your paper towels. Nobody wants to see those. So I designed a hidden cabinet here to house my paper towels, so they are always in their home down here. This is our kitchen dining space. This is the most used table in all of the house. We eat all of our meals here. This table was actually created for me by Aronson. I was the first person to have this 
stacked table. As you can see, the stack of legs underneath. It's just such an artisan piece. And then I created uh, the banquette that I'm sitting on here so that everyone can sit around and enjoy conversation at the table. And again, performance fabric, so spill the food, eat it up, you don't have to worry about anything. And again, we have another Anna Carlin light fixture above. I just absolutely love how it suspends from the ceiling above the table. Here is the dining room. If you didn't already know or couldn't tell, but pink is definitely my favorite color, so I have touches of it throughout the entire house. One thing that we actually kept when renovating the house was the ceiling. This is original to the home and it's hand painted to look like a patina brass ceiling. I loved it, so we used that and then I played off of that ceiling. We love entertaining, we love drinking champagne and wine. So with that said, I didn't wanna have bottles and bottles of champagne and wine that were wet and drippy on the table. So I actually created a sink over here where we can put the ice in, we can put our pieces in there, and everyone can pour and help themselves here at the buffet. And then there's a drain, so all the water drains down. All the walls in the dining room are Venetian plaster, and they actually have marble in it. This took an artist an entire week to finish just this dining room. Here we are in the media room. This is where we watch all of our movies, sports shows, and TV shows. I would say this is probably my kids' favorite room in the house. I really wanted something unique and special in this space, and that's where I displayed these concrete tiles by Ann Sachs. As you can see, they open up here, and there is actual light shining through. So that's where our electrician had installed LED strips and hardwired into the wall over top of all this wallpaper, which is suede. I wanted something in our media room that acted as art, but also kind of gave that like movie theater feel. And these tiles were exactly what I was looking for. So it was just really fun to play with. It's not an easy install, having those tiles put on the wall and then trying to run the electrical through. But at the end result, it's so unique and it just really gives uh, the ambiance in that space. This couch is custom designed by us at Wydell and Bichetti. And I wanted to create something where you could literally sit on all sides of the sofa and see all aspects of the room and the house. So if you sit on this side, you're seeing outside to the dining area. And if you sit on this side over here, you're gonna see outside to the pool. And to my favorite part, which is our alpacas, you can actually see them outside this window right here. And it's the most comfortable sofa you have ever sat on. I think the first time I sat on it, I fell asleep within 15 minutes. I also incorporated a table in the middle of the sofa so that you could utilize that for food and drinks. And we also house two speakers in there as well. So again, super functional and seamless design. Don't tell my husband, but this was probably the only piece of anything that he had any say on in our house renovation. He had to have five TVs. He loves sports. He watches every game, every sport, all the things. So this is all for him. And then I also had commissioned an art piece for his birthday. This was created by Layer Cake. He's an incredible artist. My husband's favorite is James Bond. And so he created this piece knowing that James Bond was his favorite. And I think it just kind of plays off of who Chris and I are. This is the no kids allowed space, as you can tell. <laughs> so this is our bar. Uh, we created this to have our own club inside our home. When we were renovating this house, it was in the middle of COVID and nobody was doing anything and I still wanted to kind of enjoy my life, obviously at home. So that's where this space came about. 
It used to be the laundry room, and now it's our lounge and bar space. On all the walls here, this is the Kelly Wurstler liaison tile for Sachs. All of this brass shelving is done by Amu Neal, which I love, and it holds all of the alcohol in the space. And then another fun feature here is that we have these beverage drawers throughout the bar, and we can really house anything that we want in there, even food if we wanted to as well. Here we are in what I call my ladies' lounge. When designing your home, I feel that it's very important that you find that star piece in every space that you design. Find something that's really important to you and meaningful when you're in that space. When I created this room here, I knew that this is where I was gonna be hanging out with all of my friends and entertaining with all the girls. So the star piece of this room is this custom designed neon sign by Name Glow. As you can see, these are two women's faces. And then around it is hand painted walls by Heather Josak, again, women's faces. So when you're in this space, you really feel like you're in a really cool, funky hotel surrounded by tons of people. And it's so conversational and it's such a fun space to hang out in. This is my older son Dylan's room. When designing the rooms for both kids, I really wanted to play off their personalities. Dylan is a sophisticated old soul turning 10 year old, and that really reflects in the design here. It's very sophisticated and playful. I loved the subdued colors that we chose for the space. The walls were actually hand painted. We created this design to kind of mimic this fun fabric on the custom bed that we designed for Dylan. So I love this space. It's very functional for him. He loves this space. And at the same time, it's classic and it's clean. Here's Landon's room. Landon and Dylan are two completely different kids. Landon is the entertainer and he is the life of the party. And I felt like in his room, I really wanted to play off his bold and loud and fun personality. I created this bed for Landon when he transitioned from his crib to his big boy bed. I just love it. I love that it feels like a big cozy hug. And if he ever falls off the bed, I don't have to really worry about it. The wallpaper is wallpaper by Kelly Wurstler. Obviously love her, love the colors. And this fun light fixture is by Entler Studio. It reminds me of like a monster a little bit. One thing that I did buy for Landon when we first moved in here was this plaster balloon done by an artist in Israel. I just wanted him to have something that he could grow with and possibly pass down to his kids one day. So that is this piece for me. I think it's really fun. Here we are in my kid's bathroom. The number one factor when designing this space was durability. I have two young growing boys and I did not want to think about the mess and constant cleanup. So this amazing porcelain tile that's on the floor and the walls by Ann Sachs was chef's kiss. The vanity was designed by us at Whitell Machete. It's so cute with these half moon handles. It's a space that these boys can really grow into and it's still really playful. This is a gorgeous marble countertop with marble coordinating stone that completely frames this massive mirror. I just love how this space really came together. I love the tone, the color, and the feeling that it gives me when I'm in here. Welcome to the primary. All the walls in our primary are marvelous. It's a wallpaper collection by Philip Jeffries. This is where all the magic happens, right? <laughs> no, actually our bed is a custom size and a custom mattress so that we have our own space. When we first moved in here though, we had three dogs, two kids that still have slept with us all the time. So we wanted to have an extra large bed and a king size just wasn't cutting it. I'm gonna take you to Chris's space. And yes, you heard that right, Chris's space. 
I feel like the key to marriage is having your own separate bathrooms. <laughs> so we have that here in our bedroom. Um, before we go in there, I do wanna just point out, we love coffee. We have our own beverage center up here in our bedroom. So we have our built-in coffee maker. And then of course, we can't forget those beverage drawers, which come in handy. Here is Chris's bathroom. All of these walls and floor are the slabs by Ann Sachs that weigh so much that we had to reinforce the ceiling below. Over here we have his double vanity. Funny enough, his plumbing is called Bond by Waterworks, so that was very uh, fitting for Chris. We've got a gorgeous soaking tub in here and steam shower. That was very important to Chris. He wanted a steam shower, and I have to say that I actually use it all the time too. Welcome to my dressing space. So this is my closet that houses all of my things. <laughs> I love this space. I really played off of my personality and the things that I love. So you're gonna see a lot of pink elements, a lot of brass, and then you're going to see these awesome cranes behind me. This wallpaper actually was custom designed for me by Moth Paper. And this light fixture is now no longer available, but one of my absolute favorites by Roland Hill. And I just had to have it and have it above my island in here. So again, utilizing all of your space is key, especially in a closet and functionality. Behind my closet is the laundry room. So all of my dirty laundry goes right into this hamper, which then is accessed through the laundry room. How easy is that? I would say that I use a lot of different layers and textures and shapes here, but it's all in a very soft palette. I wanted this house to be very calming. I wanted to walk in here from a crazy busy day of owning you know, a business and having kids and having the farm to be able to relax in my home and just feel constantly inspired while I'm in the spaces. So each room has a moment and has a reason for the way that it's designed. 